You know, it's funny with this Eric the Midget, he was saying he's not a whack packer, and he clearly is. And one of our listeners put together sort of like a, a real scientific thing, a criteria to determine who is really what a whack, a whack packer. packer is. And it's, boy not, it's, it's based on a point value. And Eric, out of everyone, scored the highest. Really? Higher than Wendy the Retard. Higher than Beetlejuice. Yeah, it's Eric really a... Hey, Eric. Whack packer. Uh, yes. I'll prove to you why, based on this scientific method, why you are a whack packer. But here is uh, Eric's latest uh, phone call to us. He left a message for Gary... He says terrible things to Gary. He calls him ape face and different oh, things. What's he all upset about? Um, it's it's hysterical. This is why I think Eric's so so entertaining. Here is Eric the Midget calling Gary back in the office, threatening Gary. What page is that on, guys? I wish it could all be on. Oh, here it is. Got it. Hey, ape face. You know, instead of you sitting there in those studios, in those offices, speculating whether or not I have some kind of mental disorder, why don't you fly my ass to New York and test me on every test that they've got? <laughs> and I will prove you that I do not have any mental disorder. And that I'm not retarded or anything like that. It's just you piss me off too many times. You have made me look like an idiot. <laughs> Test my ass so I can prove to you and your listeners that I'm not a fucking idiot like all you fuckers think I am. Don't fucking waste Sirius's money sending that. Canadian whole reporter out here to California to cover something that he is no is is covering. Use that money instead to fly me to New York to test me on psychological tests, IQ tests, whatever. I don't give a just test me on whatever. And I will prove to you and the listeners that I'm not a that I'm not a or retard like you think I am. Oh yeah, hope you and Mets get swept. That didn't happen. No, the Mets are doing good. Eric, uh, yes. first of all, you know you know why I wouldn't fly you to New York to test you. Because if I said I would do it, they wouldn't. You would then say I don't want to come. That's right. He'd have a problem with coming here. No, right. I would not back out. Yes, you would. No, I would not. Which is another reason why he's a whack packer. Yeah, he doesn't know what he wants to do. And by the way, isn't the term retard just as offensive as midget, Eric? Oh yeah. You, then why the f do you throw it around all the time? Not only that, but so you do have you. Two people with the names. Retard. Yeah, but how come you use the word retard if you're so offended by midget? I'm not a midget. Well, That's why I'm offended by it. All right, you're a dwarf. Well, anyway. Uh, uh, that wasn't a good listen. explanation of why he uses the word retard. Listen, I'll fly you to New York and let you be part of our testing. There's going to be a big IQ battle here, but, but I guess why do we care? Yeah, that, I that, care. It's not going to not... make him not a, a whack packer. The, no. the fact that he's in the whack pack has nothing to do with his intelligence. First of all, he is in the whack pack. He scored higher than anybody. I am not in the whack pack. Okay, answer the following questions then. Are you or have you been a regular caller to the Howard Stern show? A lot of people have been regular callers. Uh, just I answer the questions. Yes, yes or, or no. no. You get up. They were callers on a regular basis. Jim from Raleigh. All right, listen to me. Whack Packer. Ha yes I'm just, or no. no? Just answer. This is a point scale. Have you been a regular caller to the Stern Show? I consider myself a regular caller and a regular caller. Okay, so only. that's okay. One point. 
Have you been an in-person guest on the Stern Show? Yes or no? Celebrities have been in. Listen to the questions. Don't evaluate. Nobody's asking about the other guests. We're asking you if you have. And by the way, celebrities are guests on the show because they're celebrities. All right. Have you been an in-person guest on the Stern Show? Yes. Are you regularly unemployed or unemployable? Not my choice. Okay. But is it a yes? I guess. Okay. Are you either mentally retarded or handicapped? Handicapped, yes. Okay. Not is, your speaking, is your speaking voice considered to be funny? I'll answer that for you. Yes. So is Gilbert Godfrey. Right. Okay. So it's a yes. Is your physical Not appearance... everybody has a f***ing normal sounding voice. Is your you physical... and person with a wacky sounding voice in the whack pack? Yeah. Is your physical appearance... Put in there then. Is your physical appearance considered to be funny? No. Yes. No. Okay. Is well, your, you'll argue about that. Is your physical appearance considered to be disturbing? No. Has Howard Stern created a name for you? Uh, no, I believe that... No, I did. Stuttering John. Uh, all right, whoever did. Is there, is there a name that we call you? Yes. Has Howard Stern... Yes. Are your viewpoints considered to be funny? Yes. Are your viewpoints considered to be disturbing? Yes. Are you on medication prescribed by a physician? I did not answer that one for you. Yes. That's a yes? Well, that's not my choice either. Okay. Are you regularly recognized by Stern fans in public? Yes. All right. Do you deny being in the whack pack? Yes. All right. <laughs> Have you shit yourself as an adult more than once? No. All right. That's a no. Will you die or have you died before the age of 55? Well, I'm 35 and I don't think I will. All right. So you scored 36 points. Now, to give you an example, Bobo scored eight points. So he's not, he's not even in the whack pack. Wendy the retard only scored 23 mm -hmm. points. But she's in. She's in. High pitch Eric scored 30 points. Eric the midget scored 36 points. Wow. Captain Jenks only scored nine points. And he's hardly in. I he's don't hard. Think, I, don't I don't even know that he's, he's in. in. I, I could actually make the argument that Eric scored higher because the guy that uh, did this for us didn't realize that Eric takes prescription medicine. So add another two points. <laughs> he has almost a perfect score as a whack packer. He's the Jeff the Drunk had 36. So you actually tied him in this. But now that we're reevaluating, you actually beat him. Yeah. Underdog Lady only got 16 points as a whack packer. Wow. So uh, what's the cutoff where you say yeah, below this you're not a whack packer? I think anything below 10 is not a whack okay. packer. Daniel Carver got 21 points. Hansie got 17 points. Ass Napkin Ed got 24 points. Marianne from Brooklyn only got 9 points. Right, she's, she's not, not a, a whack packer. She's not. What about King of All Blacks? I'll tell you right here. Miss Howard Stern got 17. Nicole Bass, 16. Blue Iris, 17. Fred the Elephant Boy, 21 points. 16 points. Will the Farter only got 10 points. He's not really He's a whack He's on packer. the cusp. Joey Boots got 12. Crackhead Bob got 20. And who did you ask about? I asked about uh, King of All Blacks. Did they not evaluate him? This, this, this scientific survey works because, like, Evil Dave Letterman only got 9 points, and he's not a whack right. packer. Rappin' Granny got 14. Siobhan got 14. Sour Shoes got 15. Beetlejuice, 33. Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh Pete only got nine. Right. Pittsburgh Pete isn't a whack Not packer. Not a whack packer. This thing works. Gary the Retard got 20 points. Eric the Midget outscored Gary the Retard as a whack packer. Wow. Riley Martin only got a 15. Ham but Hans, he's in there. Ham Hands Bill got 22. And who did you ask about? King of all black. He's not even on this server. I don't think he's a whack packer. No. I just wonder what he scored. <clears throat> so, Eric, that proves it. It proves nothing. Oh, my God, Eric, you had like a 38. You had the highest score out of any whack packer. I so. know you hate being a whack packer, but you are one. Yeah, I know you don't want to be You're one. You're a self-hating whack packer. Right. Why are, you so, why are you so bummed out about it? Because you have racist in this group. You have like high pitch in this group. And that's yeah, but we got I Elephant Boy that. in the group. What's wrong with Elephant Boy and Wendy the Retard and Gary the Retard? They're nice people. The underdog lady's a nice person. She certainly is. 
There's good and bad in every group. They've even had to kick, kick people out of the Justice League of America. I mean, you're going to have to stop being white. You don't want to be in a group with races, then it. Right. <laughs> but anyway, you're in. And you're, the, and you're the highest scoring one. Higher than Beetlejuice. You're the top guy. Shit. How high? You're the king of the whack pack. I'm not a whack packer. You are? You are. are. That goes on my face. Facebook page and says I am, they're immediately getting blocked. Yeah, but it's even on... Um, so remember uh, that, people. What are you claiming now? He's going to kick that, you off. What I are you claiming? Block, that's another criterion. I will block any idiot that calls me a whack pack or on Facebook. Wow. I don't care if I take myself down to zero people. <laughs> are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Eric, the lame-ass whack Well, anyone, let, let's just be a lesson to anyone. I have a lot of stuff to get to, Eric, so I can't spend all morning with you. As far as uh, you coming down here and being tested, I'm for it. It won't get him out of the whack pack. No. He's thinking that that's a way out of the whack pack. Do you think Eric the Midget could beat Sal in the intelligence test? No. I don't either. Robin, shut the f*** up. How? said no either too you can't be sal i mean eric doesn't even know nine times eight no you know you can't use a calculator eric you're not going to do well you sure you want to be tested what if we find out you're really below maybe you're eric the retard for right. real you sure you want to take it i'll fly in yes i want to take the test all right for starters why is it that that idea comes out a day after I suggest you guys doing that test on me? I think you stole the <laughs> idea. I think we stole the, the whack pack. You think you, we stole the IQ idea from you? Yes. I whack see. pack. You're in the whack pack. The ridiculous <laughs> whack pack. After I leave that message, it comes out with an idea by you guys? There you go. We've never Eric, done intelligence tests on this show it. before. We've done this many times in the past, Art. You know that, right? You talk about people stealing ideas from you. Oh, oh, God. All right. Well, all right. He's Consider that so stolen. Then. Eric, you're a genius. I don't know why you're getting so upset. If you want to be tested. And gee, I think I know who gave you that idea. What idea? Someone that I, one of the only people I told that I. Yeah, Eric, can I be honest with you? Nobody seems to give me any ideas, unfortunately. I'm looking for somebody to provide a few ideas. He thinks Johnny Frado gave mm. us the idea. Oh, okay. All right. Well, with, yeah. without you and Johnny helping me, I'm pretty sure I would have been a failure. Jo Johnny is going to be on Deadliest Warrior next Tuesday night. All right. Steve, what do you want to say to Eric quickly? Because they have so many great things to get to. Well, Eric was just crowned king of the whack pack. Right. By Howard Stern, and he wants nothing to do with it. What else has he got going for him? That's a title right there. <laughs> he should embrace it. I agree. Yeah, King of the Wag Pack is better than uh, Eric the Midget. You should embrace it. I'm not embracing either of it. <laughs> I mean, that's a title right there. You're, you're King of the Wag Pack. Embrace it, Eric. Francesco, you're on the air in Hartford. Uh, no Francesco. Captain Jenks, you're on the air. Hey, good morning. Hey, Eric, I'm, I'm not being confrontational here, but I'd just like to know, um, what offends you so much about being considered the whack packer? Uh, you, you've achieved in a short amount of time what I've been aspiring to for 20 years. You're not even in the whack pack, James. Right, you can't get in. You didn't even get enough points to be in. Yeah, and he scored better than me. Yeah. I don't get it, but what offends you? I'm just curious. What offends you so much about it? It's because there's complete nuts like Riley and... The group <laughs> Elliot Austin, who is not who's in the group but is hasn't been around for a while, and then you also have High Pitch and um, Jeff the Drunk and Daniel Carver. They're all. But you don't represent them. I mean, you represent yourself. So I right. mean, and you're not like that. So I mean, it, it, you know, you can. I mean, Fred the Elephant more. Boy's a great guy. He's in there. A pink cowboy. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Yeah, how about it, Alex? Why don't you tell this Eric the f***ing to get the f***ing 
the phone if he can't admit that he's a whack packer. Tell him to take his deuce bag self up the road in his little wheelchair. You know, Eric, you could elevate the whack pack. I don't see it that way. All right. Pink cowboy. You douchebag. You douchebag. You're a stupid <laughs> douchebag. Take it as a compliment. This is coming from an idiot that's calling himself a pink cowboy. You know, you, you, you also forgot to give me my fucking picture, you douchebag. Mm. All right, Jeff the Drunk, what do you want to say? From me. Eric, I challenge you. To what? To an IQ test. Oh, you yeah. think you're smarter right. than Eric? I wonder I who you... I bet you I am. I bet you that Jeff is smarter. Be a cinch. Yeah. Eric, you're saying you can beat Jeff? I don't think you can, Eric. The moron has destroyed his brain cells with <laughs> pot, alcohol, and a car crash. I can still How beat you, you fuck. I, you know what? I think I'm going to put these two in the test. Uh, how much is nine times six, uh, Jeff? Jeff. Fifty-four. Nine times six. Mm-hmm. Fifty-four. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. I, 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 it's I, I, on. I might bet on Jeff. <laughs> I bet you Jeff beats you, Eric. <laughs> right. He's a few Budweiser short of completely taking his brain out. Well, he's going to beat you, I think. All right. You're in, Eric. I'll have Gary work on it. Fly me in, Duke? Yep. All right. I'll fly you in. Oh. Hey, Jeff, I can't fly you in from a place you drive an hour and a half from. He wants to be flown. He wants to be flown. <laughs> All right. Maybe All right. your money is not safe, Betty. Don't on planes. What is that, Eric? They don't let drunks on planes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Johnny Frado, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Johnny. Oh, uh, you this know, is Johnny, uh, Eric's uh, best friend. Go ahead. I'm probably the worst whack packer because I picked the phone up for this mother. <laughs> uh, Eric, I got. I'm going to rat Eric out, Howard. Go ahead right now. The reason Eric wants to do the IQ test in in New York is because something's going on in New York. What? Oh. Uh, something on Broadway. Oh, oh Diana the, DeGarmo. She's gonna be. Uh, in hair. And she's naked in hair. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, so he's just trying to get to New York to get the f- in there. Uh, Sorry, Eric. I got to do it. Is that right, Eric? I guess uh, you, I've thrown you under the bus, and now you're throwing me under, huh? I, well, I, I got to tell them the truth. They need to know the f- You need to go. You want to go see Diana DeCarmo? That's funny. You want to see mostly, her? Howard, there's a lot of dudes in, in the hair, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna, I mean, wouldn't you have to look at a bunch of dicks besides looking at, you know, yep. Diana DeGarmo? Is Diana DeGarmo fully Eric, in, um... Yeah. From what I've heard. You're in love with her, boy, if you're willing Man, to... look at what he's willing to do. Are you willing to say you're in the whack pack? Oh, this is good. Oh. Uh, no. All right, then stay home. <laughs> Admit hey, you Hey, Johnny, isn't Eric a whack packer? Yes, he is. I'm afraid to say he is. No. He you do fit the criteria, Eric. <laughs> he does fit the criteria. <laughs> Eric, well, Johnny. Know, yeah, that, that's why you've told, both you and your son have told me that I don't fit. Well, well because we, we, as we get along with you. <laughs> but I just heard, I just heard Howard's thing, and it was completely logical. Hey, uh, Eric. The test. If Jeff the Drunk beats you, that's going to be humiliating in the IQ test. Yeah, I can't see that happening. But if you lose, you have to say I'm a whack packer. Boy, the king he's of the, you have to say the king, king of the, the whack pack. Crown, the crown. Yeah. Right. What is that like the, when people lose on that fifth grader show? They have to say, hey, I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think you even should have to say it to get to New York. But yeah, I mean, that's just me. Isn't it amazing? Like, Eric is going to fly to New York just to see Diana DeGarmo. Yeah. And go through this. I hope he likes what he sees. <laughs> well, he's going to see, as Johnny said, a lot of to get to see her. It is kind of weird that Diana DeGarmo is naked on stage. And it's a chance for Eric to see her. He wants to see it pretty bad. Yeah. You're in love with her, aren't you, Eric? I don't know if I'd say that. 
you're quite smitten, though. Hey, hey, Howard, you got to be careful when you come out to California. Why? Because just because you're going to get loose, and then you're going to have a lot of. <laughs> And, that and sounds... Howard, Howard, listen to me. I, I beg. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm never. This is 17 month old kid over here. Yeah. <laughs> Howard, it's so hard. I know. It is. No, no. You, you, Howard, I'm telling you, nothing works on me now. Nothing. I know. My ankles, my my knees, my elbows, everything hurts. Well, how does that happen? From picking up the kid? Not from picking him up, Robin. He's 17 months old. He runs, and I mean this. Runs towards the street. He runs towards the cars. That's what I hate about little kids. You know, (laughs) I could take little kids for two minutes. Like when I was younger and I had my girls, it was great. You know, I was into it and all that. Uh And this is what I described to Beth. I said, "Listen, I'm I'm 56 years old. I'm just kind of." beat and i kind of selfishly want to like ashley's going off to college in a year yeah i'm done you know and it's like wow you know i i went through that whole stage and i know what johnny's talking about i'm with my two buddies last night they're 56 years old they're chasing five-year-olds around <laughs> and i and I, 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 them, I i went in the bathroom for one second i swear to god i just went to get something out of the bath, bath you know, out of the bathroom i come out rob and he's standing on the back of a chair i mean oh. the, uh, he's, he's standing up on the back one way there's a table if he hits it he's gone the other way there's another table if he hits it he's gone even if he goes frontwards it's, it's too high you know it'll just to fall i know and i hate that it's like 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 you know like even with the dog like 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 like, like we have a dog walker and I, and the, the the bell rings and, and like beth will say to me Go get the leash for the dog, and I'm like, oh, I don't even want to do that. I'm so I'm I'm so into myself and what I'm doing at the moment. I have oh, no. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, yeah that's done. I, I mean, I don't want to spend the remaining years I have on the planet chasing oh, some yeah. little f-ing kid. They won't all be do it, doing it, it the sound. chasing. He has a sound, and I'm going to get it on tape for you guys. He makes a sound <laughs> that is like a squealing, high pitched sound, and he can do it any time when he gets excited. Right. That if I'm on a phone in another room, you can hear this. People will go, what is that? And I bet your wife... If, you... if you're in the room, it's like, it almost make you faint. It's so... It's like a piercing... And, you know, it's, it's fun for him. So now he knows to do it. And then I say, don't do that. And he shakes his head, no. And then, he, you know, he does it some more. It's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, he already raised kids. I bet your wife, too, told you in the beginning, like, oh, don't worry, honey. You'll you'll work, and, and I'll just watch the kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she was lying. Oh, yeah. No, she totally lied. Are you kidding me? Of course. A total f***ing liar. Are you, oh, my God. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Johnny. I get in an argument with f***ing little Johnny. I listen to this. How f- my life became. I get in an argument with little Johnny. We're arguing, uh, you know, in the house. She's at the store. My wife's at the store. I don't know that she came home because she came up the elevator. She's out there getting the groceries out of the elevator. Right. He brings up that I'm hanging around the the, the strip club. Right. So she hears about the strip club. <laughs> In the so now I can, I, I'm telling you, the minute the sun goes down, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> right. Now you can't I'm get out of the house. You're in lockdown. <laughs> oh, I'm locked down now. Now I'm completely locked down. Nothing for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I get it. I get it, Johnny. I know what you mean. At least if I could get out them a couple hours every other day, you know what I mean? I guess you really, I, I bet you wish you didn't have young kids, right? I don't like to wish things like that because it's like wishing bad. But you know, I I, I should have did things different. Right. I mean, you yeah, know, you could never, you could never, ever, ever do this. Not in a million years. Not for five minutes. Can't you have this kid whacked? <laughs> well, I could, but you know, it would all go back to me. <laughs> right. You're the first suspect. Oh man, Johnny, I'm so sorry. You know, Johnny. Johnny's a funny guy. Johnny's an honest, funny guy, but yeah. uh, I tell you, I feel for him. I do. I do. I do. Uh, you know what, Howard? There's no, you, you lose television, too. Of course. You, you lose everything. Lose, you, you, you lose television. I don't give a what room you're in. They want to be in the room you're in. And, you know, I'm watching SpongeBob all f***ing day. I, I know. Mean, I was going to say, who, what like, things do you know now that regular people shouldn't know? And, Johnny, you want to know something what I do on the weekend? Uh, I, wa- I watch adult movies. I, I take a nap. Uh, I have Play chess. Yeah. I drink. Yeah, see. It's me time. I miss this stuff. Yeah. I can't even have. I can't have 
I'm telling you, they, 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 they have like, they, they have shifts, these two kids, <laughs> in the middle of the night. Right. They take shifts now. And I, I if see the, all... If the, if the big one ain't up, the little one is up. Ah, uh, this is a great time in my I, life. I, my brain, you know what's funny? Now they've got me so trained that if I were to go have... I, I can't get it off of my mind that one of them is coming. Yeah, and I know. I I'm just like... Really try. It's like it's almost like getting gun shy. It's like you know, oh, oh. right? Yeah. Uh, Anything you hear might throw you off. Yeah. Well, uh, take him out in a rowboat like Fredo. That's right. They have to. Listen, I know you. I know you. No, no, they want to go to that animal park up there. Yeah, I know you love you. Know, your, I know you love you. <laughs> I know you love your kid. Is what I'm trying to say, and I know you're a good dad, but. It is a lot of work for a guy your age. It's a lot of work. I He's my age. In a park. I hope I don't think they don't get eaten by lions up there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like we're wide open. The place is wide open. You know, I just push the mother out of the truck. It pretty much, you know. <laughs> you know, Johnny's a pretty big player out there in L.A., and all of a sudden now he's chasing little kids. He's right. not even doing. Yeah. He's not even. He's like it's bear. not cool. It's like he's a woman. No, no, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very. Yeah. It's very feminine. I got stroller, Howard. I got a fucking stroller. Yeah. Do you have one of those things you tie around your waist so you can carry the kid like it, like you you're have pregnant? That sling you sling thing? Horn? Yeah. I oh, got I them. Refuse. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You walk around with that on? I did for a second until I thought, you know, what if I have a heart attack and fall on the kid? <laughs> <laughs> Across my Mind. I know guys who refuse to put those on. It's to simulate the baby being like that like you're a pregnant right. man. Forget yeah, that. But it's, it, first of all, it's, it's not comfortable because the kid, they, they have little hard shoes on, right? Right. Right where your nuts are. <laughs> oh. So when they go to kick back, it, it's what a surprise that is. <laughs> the first time you get it. Oh, wow. See, these are things I learned you don't now. think of. Yeah. And where's the I joy hold on in this? To the legs. Johnny, where's the joy? John, where's the joy in this? Where is the that's what I want to know. Where's the joy? I don't know. I, I it's gone. Joy's gone. <laughs> There's no joy I in your I life. I might have to get rid of the mother. Yeah. <laughs> if I get rid of the mother, then I could probably nanny it up around here a little bit. Nanny it up. Yeah, <laughs> you, know I mean? yeah you need to nanny it up. <laughs> you know, change things around a little bit. Get the nanny. Do you have any help? Huh? No, they won't let nobody touch these kids. They won't get babysitters, nothing. Oh, my God. No, no. So you don't even get to go out. out. I can't go out. I can't go. I got out I, uh, once last week to go to dinner. Halfway through dinner, I get the call. One kid's got a temperature. Come on. Wow. <laughs> so I spent two hours at CVS Pharmacy trying to wait for a prescription. There's nobody there. But for some reason, you know, they're back there making the... And they're making the medicine. <laughs> so I wind up buying two hundred dollars worth of shit I don't even need because I'm walking around a store for forty five minutes. <laughs> you know, I mean, so, you know, it's just not good. I'm telling you, and the seventeen month old, forget about it. Oh, oh my god, Johnny, I don't mean to hit you where it hurts, but you know, there's a certain man I'm thinking about right now who wouldn't put up with this, and that man's name was Louis Frado. Yeah, that's right. He really would. <laughs> but I he gotta, went out. Listen to this. I got to tell you guys, this is a, a, a remarkable, okay? Before my father married my mother, he was married to another woman. All right? Right. Now, this is way before. Because of my dad. My dad was born in 1908. 1906. Okay. I mean, 1906. So... They have a he has a family and it's exactly like the Bonnie situation on Pulp Fiction, identical. The mother goes to work, comes home, <laughs> sees some guys doing some shit in the house, you know, and it freaks her out so badly that she takes off with the little girl, and she goes, and he can't contact them, he can't find them, and all of that. Now. The, the little girl that he had was born 1925. What ends up happening is um, while we were doing this book of mine, the guy said, well, why don't we just try to find her? So she's your half-sister. She's half sister. be 80, half-sister. She's 80, I mean, it's right. Howard, that internet is amazing. They found her, and she's in Escondido, California. I mean, that's like an hour away from where I am. So did you and go? She's 80, 80 years old. Yeah. You so went to see her? I haven't gone to. 
here yet. I'm getting ready to, though. I'm going to, I'm going to see her very soon. Wow. But, uh, but so I have a, another sister, you know, that I, I got to go see. So who knows? Maybe I could drop these kids off with her. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Johnny. All right, Johnny, I got to go. Eric, okay. I got to go. Eric, you'll take the IQ test. And Johnny says you're in the whack pack, so that means you're in it. Hey, Howard, tell him, though, if he comes to take the whack pack, he can't go see Diane with the garble unless he takes the whack pack. Oh, That's right. Do the whack pack thing. Dad, That's the only it, way he gets into that. I don't care what he does in his off time. Mm. Eric, I'll look into it, okay? Is he going to hit us up for tickets? Of course he is. Oh, you know it. Are you kidding? By, by the way, there are other females that I have interest in besides Diana and also oh, my book, Dougie the Puggy, is going to get published hopefully soon. By who? By, an, by not, a mental hospital. I'm not telling you that. Uh -huh. I don't want you people f***ing it up. <laughs> hey, uh, Ju Justin, you're, uh, Johnny, thank you. Justin, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, what's up? I just want to, uh, you should have, uh, what's his name, come in and uh, you should crown him king of all, uh, have a ceremony. King of the whack pack. Yeah, Eric, when you come they in, I'm going to... coronation. Yeah, when you come we in, I'm going gonna... to get you a, a little crown and you're going to wear it. Have a big nope. ceremony, get you an ermine cape. Yeah, I'm crowning you the king of the whack pack. <laughs> and, and a scepter. In there. Give him, uh, let him go to the, uh, see this girl. Let him go see her with the, ki with the crown on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell her you got a title, you're royal. I'm the king of the whack pack, Diana. <laughs> uh, Red, go ahead, you're on the air. Hey, Eric. You ungrateful little bastard. All right. Thank I'm you. Not uh, ungrateful. You retarded. Uh, you agreed to come on the show, and you had something up your sleeve the whole time, Eric. You wanted to get into him to pay for you to come to New York to see that woman. Yep. That's the way it goes around here, right? He's Everyone's a user. A user. He's a user. user. That's another criteria for being in the whack pack. <laughs> well, he's, king of, he's the king right there. He's All the right. king of it. Right. Well, I'm not yet, Hick. <laughs> Hick, Eric, the obnoxious whack pack. All right, Eric. Eric. Eric, the user. Eric, the whack pack. All right, Red, thank you. Have a good one. Right. Uh, finally, Avi for Eric, and then I do. I have so many things to move on to that you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, go ahead, Avi. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. You got, in order for Eric to come out, he has to agree to be flown by balloons if he loses to uh, Jeff the Drunk. That's a good one. Well, we're flying him as the king of the wag bat. Right. <laughs> yeah, but if he, when he loses to Jeff the Drunk, he, he needs to agree to fly by balloons finally. All right, let me sort through this and we'll figure it all out. Hey, Eric, are you going to be, like, kind of freaked out if Diana DeGarmo has a huge bush? I think they have to have bush. Oh, do they? It's the 60s. Oh. <laughs> You're hardly even going to see her vagina. It's going to be covered up with all that hairy bush. <laughs> what do you think of that? I don't know. You like that? I'm not making any comment about that. High Pitch Eric wants to just get a quick word in. He's pissed. Go hey, ahead. Eric, let me ask a question. Why do you call me a I don't, I don't do anything to you. And why do you get mad that Howard call you the king of the wild cat? You should be happy enough that you're on the show. Gee, uh, the fact that, that you have been taken to court how many times for stealing people's credit cards and using Okay, oh, well, hold on. Shit. That's over with. That's over with, okay? <laughs> I'm not talking about that. But we're talking about you. Well, Eric's referring, Eric, to your past and that you... Well, the, well, the past is over. This is the present. <laughs> oh, the past might be over for you, but maybe not for the people you owe money to. Oh, how seriously? Why is why does it why is he getting pissed that he's being kicked called King of the Whack Pack? He should be happy that he's on the show and that you're calling him the King of the Whack Pack. That's huge. All right, Paris, you're on the air. Yeah, hi, Howard. Hi. Hi, this is Paris. I'm actually in the play Hair with Diana DiGarmo, and uh, we're also nude in the play. I also get to kiss her in the play. Oh, really? Yes. Does she have a big bush? Uh, you know what? I don't really stare too much. It's so we, you know, we try to play cool, but she's very nice looking. Yeah. Yes. And she, and but you don't know if she has a bush or not. Uh, 
I don't really recall. I think everyone pretty much takes care of himself. I know we're supposed to be hippies, but uh, we uh, were pretty good. So you shaved off all your hair too? Uh, I man groom. Yeah. Clean and, up, you know. And do the girls have bush or no bush? You know what? <sighs> Most of the girls are pretty, uh, they're pretty clean, I'd say. Okay. Really? I mean, I don't in see the how. In the 60s, they weren't doing that. I don't see how you could be in a play with a girl and not know if she has a bush or not. I don't know how he's doing that, but you'd mm. think we're, that we're, they. We try not to stare. You know, you don't want to be caught staring. But you have to see something. So you make out with Diana DeGarmo in the play every night? Yes. Wow. Eric, what do you think of that? I guess he's lucky for that. Well, absolutely. All right. Thank you, Paris. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, Eric, I'll be in touch if I can arrange all this. I don't even know that I can. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get you flown in here for the IQ test. Yeah, and there's no shot in hell of Jeff beating me. He'll beat you. No. Eric, you don't know nine times eight. I think you're in for a rude awakening. Nobody performs good on tests when they're half asleep. All right, so what's nine times eight now? That is 89 or 81. All right, listen. You are going to do horribly on this test. You sure you're not? You, you might come out retarded. No, that's not going to happen. All right. Well, hey, I wish you luck. It'll be a legitimate. We're going, we're actually going to a, like, like one of those. A uh, testing center? A standard testing center, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no shenanigans. And we're doing the long form test. All right, the big one. The big one. <laughs> you all right over there, buddy? Yeah, just talking so much, I'm starting to get my throat dry. All right. Go ahead. Go rest up. Okay. I think Eric's pissed at High Pitch Eric because he called us Kelly Clarkson. Right. You know what I mean? That's not the only thing. All right. Thank you, Eric. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye for now. John, do you think Eric the Midget is a whack packer? Oh, yeah. Uh, what qualifies him? Well, if you heard that quiz, apparently everything qualifies him, ranging from the, uh, you know, being on SSI to having a the in the nickname to, well, another thing, he completely denies who he is, you know, in his name, uh, his voice, everything. I mean, how is Eric not a whack packer? I love him. He's great on the show, and I can't get enough of him, but the fact that he... I, the fact that he doesn't think he's a whack packer makes him probably the best whack packer we've got. What doesn't qualify him? I, I mean, the guy, he looks like a turkey with these lobster claw hands. He's angry. He's miserable. Um, he, you know, he's, he's engaged in uh, activities with uh, hookers where there's pictures of him. He's fallen for prank calls that Richard and I have done on him. So he fits every single qualification of a whack packer. Throw a dart at a category from what makes you be in the whack pack, and he, he fits into it. It's the one thing he fits into perfectly. It's, it's the whack pack. It's made for him. If it, it, an organization was created not even knowing that Eric was one day going to be their leader. I mean, that, it's just perfect. I, I, why are we even having this discussion? He has no income. Uh, he's dependent on other people. Uh, he's the most gullible person I've ever met in my life. He has a weird voice. He takes breaths between word, like in the middle of words, which I've never actually seen before. Um, you know, he's four foot three. He's been to the Bunny Ranch. Um, a lot of people around here hate him. A lot of people around here love him. Those are pretty much the uh, the basics. Why don't you think he embraces it? Like, like say Jet the Drunk. Uh, he loves it. He's he's he's. It up. He's, uh, you think he really likes being a whack pack? Of course. Why, why would he call in if he didn't like all this abuse? You, you know what I mean? Come on. Yeah. He's he loves it. I think Eric the Midget, first of all, is a total f number one. Number two, he's one of the biggest whack packers from day one here. Okay. So anybody who thinks he's not a whack packer is off the f rocker. Okay. He's a pompous. I can't stomach him, who the f he thinks he is when he calls in here. He is the biggest whack packer ever. He's a f too. Eric the Midget is a whack packer. He is the quintessential whack packer. So that's it. Take it. Wear it like a badge of honor, you dumb little midget prick.
Steve Langford is here. He is a, an ace reporter. Watch <laughs> him at work. Maybe he'll learn something. You're thinking of going to journalism. Steve, what do you have? Today, an apologetic Vinny Favalli declaring he's very, very sorry. Howard has every right to be disappointed <laughs> and upset that Vinny sent him the wrong DV, a documentary narrated by Matt Damon instead of the film Hereafter, starring Matt Damon. Vinny claiming it's not the first time he's disappointed Stern with a bum video. Favalli reporting he once messed up by sending Howard a DVD of a commencement speech Favalli had given. You wouldn't believe it. That, I forgot what about that. What was that? Did I ever tell you that? No. Vinny, you know, because Vinny's, a, you know, Letterman's, one of Letterman's liaisons to the network or whatever his title is. He's a very, very influential guy. And once in a while, a movie studio will say, hey, I know Howard's looking for a movie, this and that. You can pass this on or something. Oh, I know what it was. This time, Vinny had bought a DVD. He made a copy for me to watch. Uh-huh. Not a bootleg, uh, you know, like a regular DVD. Right, and he just copied it. Yeah. So, uh, digital copy. So I, I'm excited. Again, it's a movie I really want to see. And he sends it to me. I didn't ask him for it. He was very sweet of him. I put it in. I'm sitting with Beth again, impressing her. And uh, I see my agent, Don Buckwald, and Vinny giving a speech to Brooklyn College at a commencement. The two of them. It's some sort of, not even a commencement. It was like teaching the students about the business or something. Like one of those days where they just have people yeah. from the industry in. And I'm just something. like, oh, Vinny, what are you doing to me? You sat down, you got your popcorn, you're ready yeah, to watch I mean, a yeah. movie. I mean, this is the same Vinny who also emailed Artie's girlfriend, Dana, and, and, and informed him that uh, the penthouse pets. The room pets, was ready. The, the room was Yeah, <laughs> for the penthouse pets and Artie for after the show. <laughs> I mean, Vinny does f up. It's a good thing Vinny doesn't have a regular job. Oh, my goodness. It's pretty much on Letterman. They, they, they pay him to stay He's out of the way. He's not responsible for putting anything together. No. Wow. Vinny's a real screwball. <laughs> I love the guy. I love him like a brother, but my God. I mean, the biggest faux pas ever in my life with that stuff was that moron Ganji. Yeah. I'll never forgive him for that. I've told that story a million times, you know. My daughter's teacher uh, was ill. And all she wanted was a couple of, uh, uh, she said, do you have any of the old Seinfelds? She loves Seinfeld. So we, I got the Seinfelds, and I said to Ganji, here, take it, get a videotape. I had tons of videotape. I'm talking about clean videotapes, you know, regular blank right. videotapes. No, it's going to save me money. He takes a... It and, supposedly and, erases it. Yeah, supposedly, I, I both erased it. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know how he missed hitting record. He sent my daughter's teacher... Well, you know, they have those hey, tabs punched out he on sent those to so that they can't be recorded yeah. over. I sent my daughter's teacher a Yeah. Can you imagine? There was nothing recorded. And those the Seinfelds were recorded. The woman was so nice that she never said a word, but her husband said something. He yeah. was a, a former minister, a priest, I believe, I actually. I think, think a priest, yeah. yeah. And they, th they, were, they were shocked. Of course. How can you? They put in the tape and they're and watching they hardcore. Something that Howard Stern would do. Yeah, like a goof. I wanted to. No, instead I promoted him. I'm such a. F I should have fired him. Running the Howard TV. Uh, why didn't I fire him? And I'll tell you why. I feel bad for everyone. I mean, he really. That, would you have fired a guy who did that? I mean. Uh, maybe not. I, I'm telling you, I should have. What is his IQ? I don't know it, but I, I, I want to know. I would, I would bet you five hundred dollars that he's higher than Seth. I bet you he's not. Five hundred, you're on. He's got to be. No, no way, no way that moron could be higher. That he has to be higher. Can you fire someone seventeen years after something happened? <laughs> well, probably, Maybe it's actually twenty-five years. I want him fired. Probably not. I'm getting so steamed thinking about it. I want him tested. Steve, mark that in your notes. Gary, I want him tested. You want me to, you want me to test him with that batch we're testing already? Yes. Yeah. Name the batch that's going in next. Okay, so it's uh, it's 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 Casey, Eric the Midget, <laughs> Will the Farter, Krillo, and Bobo. That's an output gadget. So he's got to be the highest IQ do you in that think, group, don't you think? Do you think that? No. Do you, <laughs> I bet you Bobo kicks his ass. Do you think any of those guys will be higher than Sal, the stockbroker? I don't. 
I don't, what, what was this, Sal? Where the foreigner claims that he is smart. He thinks he can beat me. He says, I know I'm higher than 120. He, goes, yeah, I know he thinks he's men's a smart. Yeah, he does. He says, Will the fart is, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I like Will the fart very much, and you know I'm his biggest fan. But I look into that guy's eyes, and they are blank. They are dull. There is no question that, that Sal will beat Will the fart. <laughs> I Sal, agree. Sal, I, I will put money on that. If, if Will the fart beats Sal, I'll be shocked. Sal got a 102. You got a 102? Yeah. Look at him bragging. No, I mean, why do I have to be the benchmark of stupidity over Because this you game? were pretty much the lowest one. Yeah, but I'm not stupid. I was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't exactly lighting the world on fire, pal. <laughs> no offense. Now, look, the only people that did worse than Sal were, were retarded. Evan, Eric, Wendy, and Jeff the Drunk. Right. Now, I, I just got an, uh, an I am. Somebody's telling me that Ganji has claimed that he has been tested once before and that it's higher than a 122. Guarantee oh. it's not. Garen F and T. This would be very interesting. I guarantee you. He's not a one twenty. He's no one twenty two. I'm, I'm with you, and we're going to use the same doctor, by the way, who's already agreed to it. So it's the same, but right. it's a standard test anyway. Right. Now, Bobo, there's no way Bobo can get smarter than Sal. Bobo, oh, is, Bobo will beat Sal. No really? way. Absolutely. I'll take the bet with you right now. You don't think Bobo can beat you? Not even close. Why? What do you guy is that dumber on? than a pile of horse? <laughs> no, he's not. He is. He is. I, well, I've what do you base him. that on? You've tested him? Yeah, he <laughs> thinks a tadpole turns into a f***ing butterfly. Did he say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if he's smarter than me, I'll just uh, myself live on the air. Sal, you can't find California on a map. I can, too. You, now you it's can. It's on the West Coast. No, now I know. You couldn't before. Because you, you, I didn't didn't even know, you didn't even know who was in World War II. Gary, you, you can't even stay awake at work. Mexico. Where's Mexico? Where Mexican people live. <laughs> See, he, doesn't know, he doesn't know where it is. It's below Texas. Now you know that. Because I went to Tijuana. <laughs> he doesn't know a ton of I know. I know. Who fought in World War II? Soldiers. Who fought in yeah, World yeah. War II? We've only answered that a thousand times. World War II was... Uh, Civil War was North and South. World right. War II was um, England and America. Oh, no, okay. I mean, we, no, 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 no. What it was, was the in, Axis? Was in England and America. That was World Isn't that War One. Uh, that, that, <laughs> that was World War One. Yeah. I play my axes, man. Who, 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 World War Two was Europe. In Europe, yeah, it was but Italy. What was the, what was the Go axis, ahead, Italy. Right. Italy's one. Germany. Okay, that's two. France. Wait, 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 who France. 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 Uh, well, Italy, wait a Germany. He's talking about the axis. And America. Uh, the axis was Germany, America, and France. America, uh -huh. Germany, Italy was Germany and Italy were in World War II. Bobo's yeah. gonna beat you. Yeah. Bobo is gonna kick your ass. No, because I'm not big I on history. I guarantee you, Bobo's higher than 102. Oh, uh, that's really. That's... You're not big on history. You're not big on anything. <laughs> you weren't big in the math and or, or, or English I'm or okay anything. I'm okay with math. I'm okay with English. I'm okay with that. You were the one who thought the Civil War was fought 50 years ago. I would say Bobo is gonna beat you. You don't think Bobo can beat him? Bobo is a driving instructor. You know, any could can press a gas pedal. What? Bobo can beat him. He's a teacher. You're yeah. saying Bobo can beat him? Yeah. Is there anyone in that group that won't crack 100? Oh, yeah. KC. <laughs> KC will score in the 70s. <laughs> Don't you just have to show up to break 100, though? No. 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 That's no. Wendy the retail. Wendy you know up. what? KC won't show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> KC will get in the 70s, possibly in 80. No. I, what is 70s? By the 70s, way, like. 70s is retarded. By the way, an interesting fact the Spanish word for foolish is bobo. That's it. So. Wow. Well, KC. <laughs> the will English get, word is. <laughs> KC will get a. He's got to be. I know right. that a, 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 someone who's considered dull or not a moron, but what was the word? What was an 80? It's a. Imbecile? Yeah, you're practically feeble minded. Feeble minded. 80 is a feeble mind. I guarantee you he'll be below an 80. Mm. Believe it or not. And Casey's a good looking guy. That's what fools everyone. Right. You really give him Sal extra was, points. I really? say Sal will beat uh, uh, Casey by 20 points. You realize that Sal was three points away from not breaking 100. Do you, did you ever imagine but in, I was, in, in any way, shape, or form you would employ somebody at that level? No. That, that, listen, IQ has nothing to do with creativity and what, do I, apply, what I apply here at my job, Gary. You know that. It's ridiculous. You're ridiculous, and, but you're stupid. No, I'm not, because the 102 
it's, it, it certifies me as an average normal. I'm in the 70 percentile. So You're 70, just above a monkey. No, 70. Well, then 70 percent of America is made up of monkeys. <laughs> Why you're stupid? I'll be really serious. See, you're the so question, condescending the too. About who fought in World War II is a question that we've stumped you on six or seven times. Yeah, it's not like See, it's the first time we're hitting you. Learn it just so I wouldn't use it again. You're like Eric the Midget. Every time his Achilles heel is nine times yeah. six. Yeah. Boom, nine, nine times. times. Ah, I know times. that after ten o'clock. Mm. I like to put my heel up Gary's ass. In Sal's defense, he is of normal or average mm. intelligence, and he's right there. It's 90 to 109. Yeah. Eric, well, Eric, this, this country's doomed. Eric, what's nine times six? Quick. <laughs> I'm not answering math <laughs> questions right now. That's not the f***ing I, I called. I have to have a lawyer present. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Eric's getting his IQ tested. We'll yeah. find once and for all know where he's at. No, I'm not doing it. I don't trust you people. That's the ridiculous, Eric. We're getting qualified. Oh, is he people. backing out now? So, Jason, but let's, always, by the way, let's be does. done with Eric. Jason. He's always doing that. He's yeah. always saying, test. He called me asking me to test him. He was pounding me. I line it up, which is not easy to do. And then all of a sudden, he backs out. Excuse I'm done with you. With 